what's going on everybody? We're back! And we're back in a big way, because guess what? We're bringing this year's 2022 STSS Second and None Team! Yeah, it's going down, y'all. Today is the day, man. I know we've been getting a lot of people in the DM saying, hey, man, when is coming? When the Second and None Team dropping? It's coming out right now. We got yeah. it for you. And guess what, guys? We got a lot of people that they got these, they got these lists, man. They got these lists. They yeah. got these lists, man. They got these lists, but these teams that they putting out, man, it's not really yeah. what, what we expect people to yeah. put out, man. Because when you put out a list, it's supposed to be the best of the best, yeah. right? Best the it's best. not supposed to be this cookie cutter, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mouse. You know what I mean? Hey, you get on a team, you get on a team, you get on a team. No, when you get on this team, you with the elite of the elite. The All best right? of the best. Yes, sir. So go ahead and tell them the parameters, man. The parameters. For the second and nine team 2022 go as follows, man. Yep. Here it is, here it is. It's for San Joaquin section. Yo, San Joaquin section. Okay, this is our take on the player's talent. Yep. In our eye test. Basically the pop on the field, y'all. The bird. Based on the talent we've seen so far. Remember, the stats, the divisional play, don't always tell the whole story, man. But everything must be considered. Stats are for max prep, so please, please, please keep your stats on max prep updated, man. Yes, sir. So check this out, man. Hold on, don't mean to yeah, cut you off. Yeah, but go ahead, go ahead. Hey, if you're a player out there and you look on max prep and you yep. see that your stats are not up to date or your height and weight aren't up to date, please, please talk to your coach, man. Let them know. Hey, coach, my stats aren't up to date. Coaches might be looking, coach recruiters might be exactly. looking, trying to see, you know, about me. Yep. And they want to look at my stats and my height and weight, man. So that's a big deal. Tap in with your coach, man. Make Tap sure they in, know. Tap in, brother. Tap in. Yes, sir. And this list right here is all about the Sac Joaquin area, this section. Yep. All right, man. So it's not going to be everybody, man. Sorry. Maybe next year we can yep. do that. But right now we focus on the Sac Joaquin area, man. Go ahead. Yep. So, like we were saying, with the parameters, like a lot of people got lists. They sure we're name nameless. But they got second, third team, fourth team. 5015, so everybody get a trophy. Our list ain't based on everybody get a trophy. Yep. We based ours on hard work. The, the stats too come into play, but it's about the talent and yep. about who's the best of the best. That's right. And if you put in that work, you're gonna be spotted and recognized to yep. be on this list. Yep. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with Devin Green. This kid's an all out baller. Yes, sir. At the running back position, linebacker, man. What else do you want, man? The kid's a stud. He's at 5'11", 200 pounds, man. Earth. Junior, he still got another year, man. He's still coming back with another year, yep, man. Yep, yep. Come on, man. Man, he's built like a he's running back, man. He's built for tough, man. Yes, when you see a kid, he's built for tough, yep, man. Yep, I'm yep. telling you, the kid got good size. He's like your prototypical running back. Yep. He's got the good size, good speed. He's got a good balance. He's like he's like one of them running backs that got perfect balance. Like he got, he can catch out the backfield. Yep. He can run the ball. He can run you over, yep. run around you. Yep. You know what I mean? So let's, let's run down his stats real quick. He has 733 yards okay. on, on the ground for 17 touchdowns. He had 306 receiving yards yep. on top of 22 catches, man. Linebacking position. So he had 11 solo tackles, 20 in only nine games. He had 20 total tackles on only nine games of play yep, yep. and two sacks. That's so, nice. That's nice. So check this out, man. I remember seeing this on his dad's uh dad's Facebook. Right, 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 right. right. Somebody said that his kid didn't have vision. Oh, man. I'm like, man, they must be talking about man. Stevie Wonder. Because <laughs> this boy, Devin Green, boy, he's seeing everything, yeah. man. And he'll run over you, run through you, run around you, however you want to get it. He'll exactly. give it to you, man. I promise you. Yep, exactly. And that's why we put him on our second and none team. Because if you need a running back, you going down south, look no further. Devin Green is going to take you where you need to go. Exactly. Congratulations, you made the second and none team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next, we got Austin Mack. Austin Mack, man. Yes, sir. Austin Mack, man. He needs no introduction, man. He don't. This kid, when he step onto the field, prototypical, man. Prototypical. Size, height. This boy Ooh. is 6'6", 215. Man. What a cannon. And he's only a junior. Only a junior, only man. A junior. He got another year to do this thing, man. This kid, is, he's amazing, man. He's super yep. talented. Like I said, he got a he got a cannon, but he also know how to put touch on the ball, exactly. man. Exactly. So this kid right here, man, he got everybody banging yeah. down his door, man. I can't wait to see where he does decide to take his talents after you know he graduates exactly. high school. But 
this kid. And one more thing I would like to say is that he's not just a student, he's an athlete. Exactly. This kid, man, he's doing it on the, on, on the field and in the classroom. Exactly. This kid's a good kid. Yeah. And also, one more thing, man. I think, honestly, man, don't tell nobody I said this, man. Honestly, man, I can see this kid really being the MVP of next year, second to none. Oh, yeah. that's a hot take, because I didn't even know that, y'all. Yep, I didn't even know yep, that's a hot take. Yep, yep. But what I like about this kid, he got that killer instinct. Yes, sir. Like, he, he tries to go for the juggler every play. Every play, he's looking to hit the homer. Yep. So if you think it's just like a lollipop play, yep. he's trying to he's trying to go for your juggler. He's trying to put you all the way out the game, like from from the when the whistle blow to the end. He's trying to get you out of there. Yep, yep. And with that being said, I'm gonna piggyback off of that. That right there could be his gift and his curse. Cause sometimes, man, you could just throw the ball away, and go to the next down. Yeah. But you know, sometimes he tries to do a little bit much, which you know is a good and a bad thing. Yeah. yeah he got time to go. He, he do you, you mean? He got another year, man. Hey, if I'm a coach, man, I live with that. I live with it, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, the pros outweigh the cons. It really do. It really do. <laughs> yeah. So, man, congratulations. You, you made, made the second and nuts, sir. Too, man. Okay. Next, we got this kid out of Placer. Josh Maxwell. When you think about Placer, the yep. football team, automatically this kid comes to mind, man. He's got, when you think of Placer, they run, they got toughness. They yep. running it down your throat, yep. and they bringing the heat when they come and get you. Yep. When you on offense, they're coming with that thump. Yep. Honestly, Josh Maxwell embodies that. He's a tough kid. He's got crazy, crazy emotion when he's yep. playing on the field. Charisma. If you watch this kid on the field and you don't get hyped up about the football game, when he's on there, you don't got a pulse, man. Yep. I'm telling you. That's true. That's true, man. He's hey, I, the thing I like about him is his energy, man. Yeah. This kid, you can tell he he loves the game. He, he has really fun playing the game. Yeah. Man, if there's one clip, man, he ended up making a catch on the side. Or actually, he didn't make a catch on the sideline, but the kid hit him. He looked at the camera and said, you hit like a girl. Competitive. Like, yeah, I like that. I like it, too. It, it, it shows that he's not super serious about the game, but you can tell he loves the game at the same time. That's a good thing. And another thing about this kid, what I did like about him, he plays three different positions. He's willing yep. to go ahead and play any position to win the game. He cares about winning the game. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. He cares about his teammates and he cares about being competitive yep. and putting it all on the line. So he yep. plays outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and he plays tight end. He's on both sides of the ball. Yes, sir. More on that later. We're going to get to our overall MVP. More on that later. Though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, but yeah we want to say, man, thank you. you Congratulations. Yep. You, you made, made the second and third team, team. Yep. man. All right, so next we got up is Gorilla. This kid right here, we've been watching the last two years, man. He's a senior this year. He's yes, a, sir. He's a talented kid, man. Super talented. He's a little man. smaller. Six, uh, he's he's 5'10", 170. If he put on a little bit of weight, man, I know that you know more people would have been touting him, but he was already yeah, touting. But when he lost his size, he builds with tenacious. Yes. He got tenacious. This kid is one of the most tenacious kids in any position. You name he's it, no matter position or not. Yep, he's a monster. He's a monster. He has 64 tackles, yep. three interceptions, man. Every time we showed up, he got a pick. That's how you do it. That's what we're looking for. Yes, we want you to pop off the tape. Pop. Like we said, in the parameters. Yep. When we show up, he gets interceptions. Yep. He had three interceptions yep. this year. We was there for all of them. Yep. All right, so this kid, man, he's a amazing. He's going to be going to San Jose State next Ooh, year. Oh, they got a steal. They got a steal, yes, man. Sir. They got a steal. He's going to be balling out there. Oh, no. He's going to hey. be clapping it up. And as quiet as it's kept, he got a brother coming through the pipeline. Too. Oh, it's not over. Folsom is going to be good forever, man. Yes, sir. We actually got a chance to see him at the Daily South game, man. That kid yeah. looks like he's going to yeah. be amazing. Yeah. yeah. They got another so, one. Yeah. Another, another one. one. Yes, yeah. sir. So, yeah, yeah. With that being said, man, congratulations. congratulations. You, you made the second to another team. team. This next player obviously don't need no introduction, man. Who are you talking about? <laughs> man, <laughs> if, if you don't know who this kid, you've been living under a rock. Yep. Simple. And if he's not on your list of whatever list you guys think y'all got out there, yeah. your list ain't credible. I'm at sorry. All, at all. When at we talk all. about the best of the best, he's on our list. Let's go ahead and chalk him up. It's Rico Floyd. So honestly, this kid, man, when you think about Folsom, I think about Rico Flores. I think about his toughness, what people don't realize. 
this kid, obviously he's a wide receiver. He got highlight plays and everything. Yep. But it's the little things that people don't notice that I yep. love about his game. He's a blocking. Yep. Like he when he when he gets into you, he gets into you. He's trying yep. to take you yeah. down. Yeah, you're not getting off the block. Yeah, and then the, the yards after catch, when he catches that ball, he's trying to go to the crib every time. Every so he time. might have three people on his back. Go yep. check out the videos. You'll see it numerous times, not just one. When it was one free play where he's carrying three people, yep. he does that on a consistent basis where he's got people on his back. I'm telling you, somebody let us know in the comment how much that kid squats. I bet you he got a 450 squat. Oh yeah, he carrying. I can see that. I can he, see that. he carrying load. <laughs> and Notre Dame really got them one. They yes, really got sir. blessed when he decided to commit to that team because yep. he's bringing everything for that team. Yep. Whatever team he's on, he's giving you his all. Yep, yep. Hey, man, I can't wait to see what happens when he does get there to Notre exactly. Dame, man. I think he's honestly going to be a baller. And if yep. I was Notre Dame, I'll play him on both sides. Of the oh, ball. yeah, safety. Oh, safety. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's coming downhill. He's coming downhill. That's hill. what I'm going to say. He's coming downhill. He's laying the wood, man. Yeah, So that man. kid right there, man, we appreciate everything yep. that you bring to the game, man. Yep. Cause we know that you love the game and you play the game hard every single yep. time. So hey, congratulations, yep. Rico Flores. You, you made the second in the team. Alright, so next person we got on this list, man. <laughs> this kid right here is only a sophomore, man. Yep. So <laughs> we might have gave it away right there. Yep, you already know. Philip Bell. Man, this kid Philip Bell has 17 touchdowns, man. He ended up throwing a touchdown. Wow. But the crazy thing about that is he said his favorite player is Odell Beckham Jr. Exactly. You know what I mean? And Odell, he's known to throw a couple touchdowns. Woo! You know what I mean? Here and there. Here and there. Wow. So, yeah, this kid right here, he's only a sophomore, man. He's breaking every record at the school already as a sophomore. Right. So, he still got two more years to run it up. You know, you know what I mean? What I think about for his age, his yeah. potential, he's got NFL projections in my eyes. Yes, sir. 6'2", 190 already, already. as a sophomore. Yep. Fun fact, we went to Oregon, didn't we? Yep, yep, yep. They were doing a size measurement. His hands are 10 and a half, y'all, as a sophomore. That's why when y'all see them one-hand grabs, snatch grabs, Look easy. For a normal rank-and-file person, no one-hand grabs, ball popping out. Yep. He grabs them because the ball can fit in his hand like, like, like a Nerf ball. Yep. It's yep. easy for him. Exactly. This kid, man, he's a baller. I can see him continuing to get bigger, exactly. stronger, faster. Yeah. So, hey, all he was the on last year. He was there. on last year's team. Of course, of course. Yeah. As a freshman. As a freshman. Exactly. He's been putting up these numbers, man, the last two years, man. Exactly. It's been impressive. This kid yep. is electric. All right, yep. man. It's fun to watch. It's fun to see. So, we just Several. seen him. Yeah, we just seen him in the playoffs, man. He's yep. still out there doing what he's supposed to do, Several man. Several D1 offers. And yes. more to come because he's, he's got Over tons 20. of money. Yeah, Over 20. 20. And we predict... Yeah. We said 40, 45. 45, 50 at least. time of senior year. Yes, sir. So, so that kid right there coming out of Sacramento, out of uh, Christian Brothers, man, yeah. I think he might be the next biggest thing out of Sacramento, yep. man. Mark our words. Yep. Congratulations, Congratulations Philip. You, you made the second, second of the team. team. Yep. Next, we got a kid out of Grant High School. Yes, sir. That we call the Enforcer. Yep. Yep. The we call him the Grim Reaper. Woo. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> yes, sir. My gosh. We got Kingston Loper. I'm out of Grant, man. Crazy athleticism, crazy measurables, crazy size at 6'5. Come yep. on. 190. The kid is crazy. Yep. Man, he comes downhill. When he comes downhill, Boom! <laughs> like the ball's coming out, man. He's trying yep. to, he's trying to, he's trying to get the ball up out of you. Yes, sir. Bro, we went to what well, the game against River City. Now keep in mind, River City, they ain't the best team, but yeah. regardless, talent's still gonna pop. So what you're supposed to do when you play against lower competition? Yep, get you them. expose them. Yep, yes. you expose them. Yes. Get them all the way out of there. And when yes. we went to go see him, he popped off the field off, off the automatically. Tape. Off the played tape. both sides of the ball. Yep. Wide receiver was getting it. Two touchdowns. Two tubs. Light yep. day. I light think, day. I think I seen him do this. Yep. Yeah, he was on my he side. Was out, of here. out of there. <laughs> out of there. Defenders <laughs> had no chance. And then no when he came downhill, anybody trying to come across, trying to come across the middle, it was curtains, man. Yep. yep. And yep. you see somebody that opposing at yep. six five with that elite size and speed. Yeah. It, it does something. You think yeah. twice about grabbing that ball when you see How him. How tall come. is he? Six five. Oh my god. 
That's crazy. Man, look, somebody let us know in the comments if the kid played basketball because he got to be done. He got to be done and go yeah. crazy. Oh, you know what? Nowadays, he probably played volleyball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Volleyball, that's, you need athleticism in hockey. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. probably jump exactly. out the gym. Exactly, exactly. But I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, he just got offered LSU. Yeah, he got LSU under his belt. That's so already. if you get an offer from LSU, clearly you consider one of the top DBs in the nation. Exactly. exactly. They don't just hand those out. No, nope. by the way, nope. that's nope. DB University. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. They want the best of the best. Yeah. It's just like we do. Exactly. The best of the best, yep. man. No Mickey Mouse teams over here. Nope. No Mickey Mouse. We don't do yes, that. Yes, sir. So, man, congratulations. congratulations. You, you made, made the second and nine team. So, check this out, man. This kid right here, man. We went out and seen him. We yeah. had no idea yep. who this kid oh, was, yeah. man. Brandon Graham. All right, this Woo. kid right here, man, he got it all. He plays the quarterback position, man. I swear to God, he was My. giving people crazy work. I mean, crazy work. He out there throwing the ball for touchdowns, running the ball for touchdowns. Wow. Man, he doing everything, man. I seen one play. He went over and shipped one guy this way, came back this way, did a spin move. Wow. High stepped into yeah. the end zone like Dion. This wow. kid has it all, man. I just Honestly. Think, I just think he's getting up. Uh, under the looks, you know what I mean? He ain't getting yep. the looks. He's not mean? getting the looks, man. He's playing out of Roseville right yeah. now. When we got there, man, the coach, he pulled me to the side, man. He said, this kid right here, I've coached a lot of football. He said, but this quarterback right here is, he's special. Real deal. And in the beginning of the game, he ended up throwing an interception. I looked over at him, I'm like, ah, what's <laughs> up? He said, just wait. I said, okay. Man, okay. by the second half, he already had, what, three touchdowns? And, 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 and a touchdown pass. Right. The kid, he ended up accounting for every single point. Put I'm talking about, back. yes, I'm Put talking about he back. had two point conversions. Wow. He scored the touchdowns and he threw the touchdown. Wow. This kid is amazing, man. Honestly, wow. I think he's underlooked. Or he's getting overlooked. Sorry about that. And I feel like if, if he goes to the next level, maybe he can play in the slot. He yeah. might not. He, in the perfect situation, yeah. he can play quarterback at the next level. But honestly, him in space is scary. Yeah. It's scary. So, honestly, he, this kid is just a pure athlete, man. Pure athlete, man. This kid does it all. Hey, coaches, we just saying. We just saying. If there's anybody on this list, give him a look. Just give him a look. Yep. That's yep. all we saying. Yep. Coaches, when y'all hit us up, man, y'all ask us, oh, who's good out there, yep. this and that and the other. We giving it to you raw right now. Exactly. So if they're on this list, give these guys a look. We're yep. putting our name on it. Exactly. We have talked to a lot of co college coaches, and we talked about him for sure. Yeah. We talked about him. We talked about Josh and uh, Jack. Jack. Yeah. Jack, you Jack. out there? Yep. Exactly. Like these kids that we're talking about, man. These kids, they're really they they're ready for the next level. They are. Yes, sir. Yep. So congratulations, man. You, you made, made the second and another team. team. All right. Who we got next? So y'all. It's coming down to the end, but guess what? We have our overall STSS certified baller. Overall, this yes. kid right here did it all. Yes, so in order to be the MVP for our team, you got it. There's some parameters. You got to play em. both sides of the ball. Tell them. You got to play numerous positions. Tell them. And your team has to be in a position to reach the playoffs. Yep. So the thing about it is we took it as you have to be important. You have yep. to be important. You can't just be on the best team. Okay, you can be on the best team, but we also took into account level of difficulty and level of execution. Yes, sir. So that was a big deal for us. So if you took that player off the team, like they probably wouldn't win a game. Exactly. Like level of difficulty is really, like, you know what I mean? It's like yep. putting a, putting somebody with a, uh, a handicap. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. So we really took our time with this. It's a controversial take. So really look into it and check it out. Don't just blurt it out. Really yep. go look at the stats. Really go look out for what it is. Yes, sir. I mean, so we want to unveil it now. Yes, sir. So our 2022 overall MVP for the second and nine team is Nick Fowler. Congratulations, man. Yes, sir. And here's why. Yep. Tell him, man. Okay, so Nick. Hold on. Yell out his numbers, coach. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, he got crazy numbers, Check man. it out. Before we get to the numbers, I want to list all the positions he played just so y'all get a full understanding of how much he did for his team. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? He played quarterback. Yep. He played linebacker. Yep. 
He played running back. Yup. He punted. Yup. He played fullback. Yup. Five different positions on the field, yep. man. Yup. Like he literally didn't lead a field. Yup. Yup. So, in in that bit of play, he had 108 carries when he played running back. He had 108 carries. Yup. He had 859 yards out yep. the backfield. Three plus games over the century mark. Yup. And he's 6'1", 210. So he got good size too. Oh, of course. So when he played quarterback, his quarterback, his quarterback play, we understand that. We're not gonna just say, oh, he was like Tom Brady or nothing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his position, his primary position is linebacker. linebacker. Yes. So he played quarterback. He went 27 for 64, 443 yards with six TDs in the air. He literally was asked to do everything as a linebacker. Yeah. Where name me another linebacker that has to do all that stuff and play quarterback and try to make it happen. Yeah. Put your team in a position to win a playoff game. They right. won a playoff game. Yep. And yep. they and in the beginning of the season, they had injuries. They were decimated everywhere. Yep. Yep. Okay, so he had 1,309 all-purpose yards. Yep. 18 total TDs. Yep. And on defense, what he do? He had a hundred tackles. Come on, 41 now. solos, 59 assisted, two interceptions, and yep. two sacks. He did it all. Like, like he really did it all, man. Man. He's really the Swiss Army life. Like, Honestly, he, man, I'm going to just go ahead and put this out there, man. Go ahead. If he played in a bigger program, yeah. say Folsom, yeah. this kid will be highly touted. Every, for, for real. Every coach in the nation will be trying to get him yeah. on their program. Yeah. But since he's not, he, he he's still, you know, trying to figure out where he's going to go. But he does have offers. I will right. say that he does have offers. Yeah. But I'm saying he will have every yeah. coach in the nation banging down his door For real. if they knew about this kid, man. Yeah. So I that's, think, that's yeah. why we want to shed light on him. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think it's a travesty. Honestly, I think it's a travesty he's not getting looked at in the Great yeah. Sacramento area. Yeah. But you know what? That's why we do this, man. This is why we do this because yep. a lot of kids that don't get seen or they don't get the lights or whatever, yep. we want to shine a light on kids. This is why we do this, y'all. Exactly. So this is why we put the second and none team together. Yep. We want this. We see other play people do it, but we yep. want to make it more of an exclusive club, man, and really shine a light on the kids that's really putting that work out. And one more thing, man. Before every time, uh, before the game, if coaches don't know about this kid, yeah. by the end of the game, they give him big respect, They give him man. big props, man. Yes, they see yes. everything he's literally doing on the field to exactly. will his team to win. Yep, yep, yeah. that's real. Man, so congratulations. Yep. You're our MVP. Congratulations, man. Nick. Yes, yep. sir. Check it out. All right, so man, we got another kid that we want to talk about. Yeah, we got some quick, other, other kids we want to talk about real quick. So, man, man this kid, Matt Long. Matt Long, baby. Man, this kid, Matt Long, man, he got it all. People don't, you see Matt Long on the field, you like, ha, ah, he yeah. might be all right. Okay. Until he get behind you, boy, he like Cooper Cup out there, he honestly, Cooper Cup, man. bro. Yes, sir, 61 catches, 1,017 yards receiving. This kid is 16.7 yards Sheesh. a catch. I'm telling you, killing, it. killing 18 man. total touchdowns, man. He does it all, man. He's the quarterback's best friend. This kid is a lot faster than what you think he exactly. is, man. I promise you, he will get behind you. And if he does, you're not catching him. This kid is amazing, man. We wanted to shout you out, man. Yeah. Congratulations for making the second and none yeah. team. Yep. And keep balling. He's keep only balling. a junior out of Vista del Lago. Yep. You and Johnny, man, keep that thing going. Y'all yep. got keep something that special, going. man. Yep. Yes, and sir. I got one kid I want to talk about, man. Go ahead. Out of uh, Del Oro. Yep, yep. Cornerback. Yep. Thomas Graham the second, man. Yes, sir. This kid is a real baller, man. You, He's literally on the island. You can put him on the yep, island. He's yep, going to yep. lock it down, man. Every time. He's guarded some of the best, most talented wide receivers in the nation, man. Yep. And did work. Put that work in, man. Yep. This kid, man, he had 21 solo tackles, 8 assisted, 29 tackles with 2 interceptions, but he had 14 pass breakups. Yep. So what that means, he's elite in pass covers. That's what I look to see. Yep. Yep. He's yep. elite when the ball's in the air. He's breaking it up. Yep. So this kid, he got prototypical size. He's 6 foot. He's 170. You got to put a little bit more weight on. Yeah. But I think this kid, he got good hips and he can move well. Yep. So congratulations. You made the second, second and team. team. Yep. Also, really. man, I want to talk about Joseph McCray. Jojo! Jo hey, Jojo jo out, of, out of Grant, man. This quarterback, man. man. He does it all. He was lighting it up, man. Yes, sir. Lighting it up. I'm telling you, man, the game we seen him at, he had seven touchdown passes, man. He was slanging that thing all over the yard. 
He ended his season with more than 2,400 passing yards. 34 TDs to only four interceptions. Crazy. I'm telling you, this kid right here, he has what it takes to play at the next level. Coaches, yep. go check this kid out. If you haven't got a yep. chance to see him, go check him out. Yep. He's still playing in the playoffs now. All right? So go check this kid out, man. Congratulations. Yep. You, you made, made the second and none team. We're going to end it off. We're going to show y'all the rest of the second and none team. Everybody, if you make this team, just know you're a baller. Yes, sir. And keep it working. So this is what it is. If you didn't make the team, just make sure you put that work. We're going to be coming with this every year. Yep. So if you didn't make the team, there's people who didn't make the team last year who put that work in, and now they're on the list. Yep. So just kind of go over the offense and defense. You can see what's going on right now. Yep. This is the full list right here. Here it is. Yep, yep. I mean, oh. And then one more thing I want to say, man, it's not always about just being an athlete, all yep. right? Make sure you take school. Exactly. School has to be just as important yep. as football to you, man, yep. because if you want to play at the next level, at the highest level, exactly. you're going to have to have the grades yep. to do that. If you don't, you're going to have to go to JC level, and yep. you know it's going to be a dog-eat-dog -dog world when you go there. But don't pass up on yeah. the good, great opportunities yeah. because you're not doing your schoolwork, man. And that's just in life, man. You just want to be a good student just so you can just be successful in life, man. Yes, sir. So, I mean, life can be easy for you. You can just work hard now and then play later, man. Exactly. That's what it's about, yeah. man. Thank you guys for watching, yes, sir. man. Thanks for tuning in. And for everybody else, man, that, that think that they want to do a list. <laughs> Make sure y'all check ours out, man. Yeah, and check us out on YouTube, follow us on uh, Instagram, Twitter, all our social media platforms, man. Make sure you hit the like, comment, retweet, whatever it is, man, so we can keep this thing going, man. Yes, sir. Don't forget to subscribe, too, exactly. man. That's exactly. important, man. Exactly. That keeps us going, man. All right. Well, thanks for all the love and support, and guess what? We, yeah! yeah. <laughs>